Page 46, Whirling Leaves. Here they're introducing you to a thing they call ledger lines. Actually, everybody calls them ledger lines because that's what they are. You see in a staff, it only has five lines and that kind of limits the number of notes. For instance, in a, in a treble clef, the bottom line is a, an E and the top line is an F. So that's what the staff covers. And there's a whole lot more notes than that. I mean, we've already had metal C all along. That's, that's on a line right below the treble clef. Well, that little line that it's on is called a ledger line. In other words, when we add more lines so we can have more notes, they're called ledger lines. That's all. They give examples of them up there. And they're only using them in bass clef right now. It's fine. Let's just stick with this. This is good. So we have, the, you have middle C is one ledger line. And the, the ledger lines work the same way as the lines do. It's every other note. So, you, so if I go to bass clef, the bottom line on bass clef is a G. And the next line is the next note up is a B, and then a D, and then an F, and the top line on a bass clef is an A. Well, the ledger lines just keep adding every other note, and then a C, and then an E, G, B, D, E, every other note. Then the spaces are the other notes. So you can fit whatever the note is, you can count up the ledger lines and figure it out. Well, in my opinion, you need to memorize these up to three ledger, they're only showing you two, so memorize, just memorize the notes. One ledger line is middle C, you should know that. Two ledger lines is an E, just memorize it, and the note in between is a D. So when you see these in the music, you just know what they are. Now, once they start adding more than three, you get four or five or ledger lines, I have to stop and count them, because I can't just glance at it and see that many ledger lines in my head. I have to count them to know how many there are and have to figure it out. And that's where I take a pencil once I figure it out and I write in the note name and the music so I don't have to figure it out again. But up, I do up to three ledger lines. I can see three ledger lines at a glance. I can tell there's three of them just glancing at it. I don't have to count them. And that's why I say just memorize those notes. We get them in the left hand. Here at the beginning of this you have an A, a D, and an E. We're in this position. Or C sharp, you want the C A position. And that's here. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two. That's for the most part what the left hand's doing. You're not moving around in the left hand. The whole thing is here. Pretty much. The right hand's another story. Huh. So in this piece I already talked about the left hand. So get these right. Then the right hand, when it comes in, you're up here in this A position. You're starting here, and then you do get the, a, the C sharps here. So it's one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Hmm? Then on page 47, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. So you're staying in this position. This is, it looks tricky. And actually, once you realize what it's doing, it's not hard at all. It just falls right into place. Till the last line comes along, and that messes it up. So the last line, you're here. And the next part, the notes are here, but it has an 8 VH. So you're going to come up here. And the next measure is the same thing, but it's got a, a 15 MA. So you got to go up another octave and finish it up there. So you're moving around the last line in the right hand. Not the left hand, just the right hand. So put the hands together slowly. Well, the first line's not hard, it's just left hand. Let's go to the second line here on page 46. Here. So, get it? Now let's go to the tricky part up here on 47. It's not tricky, it looks bad. What your hands are doing is they're mirroring each other. So, see, so here. Thumbs, index, little finger, here. So the, the hands are mirroring each other. You see, so all that ugliness turns out to be nothing because really you can just concentrate on one hand, either hand, doesn't matter, let the other hand follow. Just play the same finger. And then the 
the second line, you're back to this. Then in the last line, the right hand moves around. Yeah, the left hand doesn't move, just the right. So once you can play this, and you got the notes and rhythms, no hesitations anywhere, then go ahead and think about the articulation. It's here, lift up between each of the slurs. I know the pedal will cover it up, it doesn't matter. We still go through the motions because even though you may not hear it, the pedal covers it up, you want to feel it. And so we go through the motions. Second line, play the right hand legato. Now you can lift up here, I don't agree with that, I think it should all be legato. Connect this, now lift up. That whole line, each of those, is, it should all be slurred together. I would not separate those two uh, measures. Then when you get to top page 47, it's uh, both hands. Lift up. Now we're See, we're connecting one hand and not the other. line there it's a lift up. Once you can do all that then add the dynamics. Well sort of soft. Moderately soft. But when the second line when the right hand comes in that becomes moderately soft. The left hand has to immediately go to soft or softer. Huh. We want to hear the right hand. page 47 at the top, you're soft, it's really both hands here. And then you crescendo up to loud. Don't get loud until that quarter note. Plan it out if you have to. So in the second measure, I'm first beat I'm soft, then I'm medium soft, medium loud, loud. Yeah. And then come down to moderately loud. That moderately loud is louder than you were at the beginning because that was moderately soft. The leaves are getting stirred up here. And then at the last line, you have a retardando and you have the arrow to get softer. You're going to go back to soft. You're loud here to start. This is sort of like medium loud, moderately loud, moderately soft, soft. And I want to hear the B here. So you're slowing down. Here is loud, now soft. Don't get soft until that last note. It's cool. How fast it goes? Well, it says moderately fast. I guess the leaves are moving around pretty good. You'll have to decide what moderately fast is. It's uh, it's on the moderate side of fast. Oh. line you're gonna slow it down. It doesn't say how much to slow down, you just out, get, take a get. How much do you think you should slow down? On top of all this they've added pedal. I got a whole lot of problems with their pedal here. I'm gonna talk about it. They're telling you to push the pedal down at the beginning and hold it down through the whole piece until the end. Don't change it at all. If we do it that way this is what it sounds like.
If that ain't enough to make you hate leaves, I don't know what is. That, to me, just sounds terrible. So, if you want to pedal it that way, you go right ahead. I want to make some suggestions. I'm going to complicate the pedal a little bit. And that is, I want to pedal with each of these. I want to pedal with each of those. So it's down, and then I'm going to lift it up with the hand. Because remember, these are slurred. There's a little silence between them. I want to hear the silence. I'm going to pedal it that way. So let's try to see what happens. I'm not pedaling this measure at all. And again, I'm going to lift it up between the slurs. need to pedal it at the end at all. I just leave the pedal out. But I like to hear that, that little silence there. That's how I would pedal it if I were going to play this piece. It complicates it as I said because your pedal is going up and down quite a bit. You have to keep that in mind. If that's a bit much then it's up to you and your teacher to decide how you want to pedal it. So that's my suggestions. And the play with me, I'm not going to pedal it at all because I want you to hear the notes and you can hear them more clearly if without the pedal. And that's what really what the play with me is about. Are you playing the correct notes and the correct rhythm? I'm not doing dynamics, just that. So let's try that together slowly just to make sure we got the notes and rhythms correct. You can do the dynamics and the pedaling and all that on your own. One, two, Ready and go and one and two and three and four and